All right, guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna be playing Death by AI. It's a game inside of Discord. What is up, guys? Today we're back playing Death by AI. Choose your pathetic human meat pile. Yikes, that's kind of rude. That. Um, this is a, this is my second part, but Eric's first. Oh, and that then, guy, that guy's interesting. Hold on, guys, I'm feeling this one. Are you copied me? Oh, that was yours. <laughs> the robot's gonna choose. Wait, what's scenario, gonna happen? So, oh my gosh, we're starting already. Okay, you are slowly You're fading so away like Marty and Back to the Future. My survival strategy. Um, guys, what do I do? I think my survival strategy is top tier, guys. Your face was sealed. Oh no! You're slowly fading away like Marty and Back to the Future. What a bug he tries to do. Make my parents fall in love. That's right. In bed to cheap fate. Well, a buggy tries to manipulate the past, making their parents fall in love. They did in the movie. What do you mean? And that's, cheat that, fate. <laughs> Stop manipulating. Is that a word? Just tell me if I survived or no. <laughs> Here, attempt to. Okay, I don't know. Wait, I don't did know he die? Those words mean. Eric tries, Eric tries to. to. I rickroll everyone, and the people are so surprised that they give me a medal, and I do not die. Let's see what happens. Does that even make sense? Yes, it does. In a bizarre twist, Eric, facing the grim specter of the disappearance, re reminiscent of Marty McFly, decides to perform a rickroll on. <laughs> on his throughout audience, astonishing them with the uncanny act. In turn, they are so astonished that they shower him with an unexpected gift, coveted metal artifact. With this embodiment of appreciation and his newfound source of energy, <laughs> Eric miraculously starves off the clutches of oblivion, finding a new life <laughs> in the dance music of his daring gambit. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> that was the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Scenario incoming. Oh my gosh, do I get to pick? You're trapped in a collapsing mine. Judging your, your fate, fate has, has been, been sealed. sealed. He's been sealed. Yeah! Eric tries to. I use a teleport, use a teleport gun, gun in portal and I escape unscathed, barely making it out. You can't tell it what. In a heart stopping moment, Eric grabs a teleport gun from the depths of his bag, aiming it squarely at collapsing mine walls. With the bizarre whirl of portals, Eric is transported safely, landing just tiny steps behind a cascading rubble. Barely escaping with seconds to spare, Eric takes a deep breath, thankful for the strange technology, and I survive. Fuck what a buggy tries to get an indestructible pan and a potion of invincibility. Oh, I thought it said invisibility. An indestructible pan and a potion of invisibility just before a flying boulder narrowly misses him. If newfound hope and uncanny luck, they skillfully navigate the dangerous path ahead, eventually emerging from the mine alive and victorious. Yes. Selecting a scenario. What the heck happened? Bonus round. Bonus survive round. To win two lives, you are locked, in a, locked in a sinking car. car. Ah. What a buggy. What tries a buggy tries to. I break the glass and swim to the surface, making it out unscathed. You can't steal that. The little buggy frantically reaches for the car's tools. They manage to find a heavy object to break the car's glass. Who is they? Water's rising rapidly with a deep breath and determined the stride. They shatter the glass and plunge into the freezing cold water. Precise strokes and what it seems to be a superhuman swim, little buggy breaks to the surface. With the water taking a gashing breath of fresh air. Oh my god, yeah. I survived. Please tell me I survived. Please tell me. Eric tries to. I simply get out using guns. Out using because I'm American and I high five Dwayne the Rock on the outside. Eric leaks from the sinking hole, guns blazing, a desperate bid for freedom. Surprisingly, Dwayne the Rock Johnson, who <laughs> it seems is passing by, catches the panic uh, flight of the American. However, their high five is short lived as the rapidly sinking car plunges beneath the water surface, causing both Eric and Dwayne to be dragged under and meet their watery demise. How is that fair? I killed the Rock, guys. My bad. <laughs> You're locked, locked in a room, room for ticking bomb. No way I no way I messed this up, guys. No way, you're gonna die. Your face has been sealed. Your face has been sealed. If I die, I will be so sad. I throw Eric Bird on the bomb and brace for the explosion. <laughs> you can now, still die from this, that. As little buggy lunges towards with a diet plan, they hurl Eric Bird towards the ticking bomb. <laughs> <laughs> with quivering rings, Eric Bird soars through the air and Lands squarely on the detonator for clumsy does. Anticipation builds as the second dwindle, but alas, the poor little buggy is shocked. And lifeless. And lifeless when they <laughs> when they're ending How did I die? Ends. I threw you onto the bomb. Eric tries to. I cut the right cut wire the right and get to meet the United States president, and they give me a purple heart for my bravery. You can't just tell them the ending. <laughs> yes, I can. As Eric frantically scans the room with their heart pounds in their chest, they spot the bomb's wirings with determined stride, and they lunge towards the bomb, attempting to cut the right wire. However, the fate has other plans. I told you I cut the right wire. Eric's valiant attempt ends in tragedy far from ever meeting the United States president. You just... <laughs> I just changed my answer. You can't do that. That's cheating. Bonus round. Three lives. Three lives. Your brakes fail on a steep hill. <laughs> Eric tries to. 
I grab the parachute out of my, parachute out of my <laughs> jump out. The parachute catches me and I'm okay. Let's hope they don't mess this up. In a heart-stopping moment, Eric's brakes had failed on a steep hill. Oh no. Acting swiftly, oh, no. they reached out for the parachute, hidden in the trunk, and jumped out just in time. To their relief, the parachute caught them, breaking their fall and saving them from the deadly impact below. Yippee! I survived. That <laughs> doesn't make Mike's sense. Mike's don't have trunks. <laughs> Try to, I called DT Shorty and she drops a portal gun from Fortnite. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. A heart pounding moment, little buggy all inches from a sudden crash manages to grab their phone and dial DG Shorty. <laughs> the hope blooms, the portal gun from Fortnite, lying forgotten in the backseat, catches a little what? Little buggy's eye. Dying move, they fall into open the portal, but it's too Wait, what? No Our way. Help. I wasn't in a car. That doesn't make any sense. How are you in? Chat, I won because I got three points in the last minute. <laughs> You're facing a charging rhinoceros. Oh no. I try to. I jump out of the way and the rhino leaps off a cliff. Because of my 20 foot vertical, I am okay. I have a 20 foot vertical. You didn't know that, guys? And a heart pounding moment, no, I mean. Eric leaps deftly to the side as the charging rhinoceros barrels towards them. Everyone's amazement. The rhino, losing its footage on the edge of a precipice, plunges off of a cliff in a spectacular leap, narrowly avoiding our brave avian hero. Oh my goodness, guys. I don't know well, how well, I did it. Tries to. I say dodges and make it out okay. Our right, moment, little buggy darted to the side of lightning agility, just managing to dodge the snorting rhinoceros rampaging charge. The beast thundered past its horn, barely missing little buggy's rear fender. His so rear I believe little buggy sped away. The dust of a close call so sw sw swirling in their wake. Yes, I made it alive that Guys, time. Guys, we survived. Let's go. But you lost in the blizzard and see a yeah! <laughs> Guys, this is going to have so much brain rot in it. I simply call simply... John Pork and he daps me up. We take on the challenge and become besties, living happily ever after. In the heart of the blizzard, Eric's quick thinking shone as they reached for their Is phone to call John Pork. A miraculous connection was made, and together they dapulated their way towards the towering. What is this game, guys? In an unanticipated twist, friendship blossomed in their. And the pair navigated to the snow zone, becoming unlikely companions who will live to tell tales of their harrowing adventure, living happily ever after. Let's go. I simply hold on to the yacht and use its heat to make it out of the blizzard. I have to cut this out, guys. Bravely approaches a towering yacht, playing <laughs> to cling on to it. I keep saying that. Poking for the warp. Lost the yacht is out of my sudden intrusion. Says Lord Blake, tongue into the icy abyss, making this. What? That doesn't make any sense. They just added more to it. You can't just do that. Oh my goodness. Oh, is this like a hoop? It's a bonus, a bonus round. round for this scenario. <laughs> Skibbity toilet tries to kill you with his gat, but enters John Pork. You're next. <laughs> I flush the toilet and it clogs due to an excess of toilet paper. Skibbity toilet dies to choking, and I am survive. In a twisted turn of events, Eric manages to clog Skibbity toilet with an excess of toilet paper, causing its fiendish gat welding fiend to choke on its own debris, meeting its miserable demise. With Skibbity toilet out of commission, John Pork, who was injured earlier, recuperates and Eric emerges victorious, earning a reprieve from the fatal confrontation. I use John Port's sacrifice and run away. Amid the mayhem, Skibby Toy lunges with his fierce wing, yeah, but misjudges <laughs> Andrew John Pork instead. Seizing the moment while Little Buggy takes advantage of John's sacrifice, making a swift escape. Do it. The danger is far from far from over now. Little Buggy's man to cheat death. Yippee! Did I win? Let's go. Falling from a great height, but only one person can catch you. Who do you call? I simply call the Michelin Man and land on him. He gracefully dives under me and catches me in his grips. The Michelin Man is made out of tires. Will not hurt. <laughs> no. In a desperate and unconventional bid for survival, Eric attempts <laughs> an outlandish maneuver, intending to reach out to the plum and jolly Michelin Man. To everyone's astonishment, the iconic culinary symbol gleams a knowing smile and gracefully plunges beneath, skillful sweeping up Eric and cushioned catch averted. Oh. I didn't get to read the rest. I called it. What did she do? <laughs> DT Shorty for help. Taking a leap of faith. I didn't jump! No, the wind whips past them as they tumble through the air. Unfortunately, the car goes unanswered. Little Buggy's fate is sealed, <laughs> making the end of a harrowing descent. Yeah, I can understand that happening in real life because you know what happens when I normally call her? This happens. Call me. I don't. I probably didn't answer because I don't like you. Just stop calling me, okay? So Sam call me or you will get boo. <laughs> what was that? We're just giving a <laughs> Sending a voicemail? <laughs> Anyways, yeah, how, did I die? how do we have so many more rounds? If I win this round, I'll win. But if you win this round, I'll lose. <laughs> <laughs> Bonus round, survive. You'll never make it on this live. You stepped Still on a mine, a, and it only mine. kills people <laughs> named... Oh, no. <laughs> people named Eric Bird. Little Buggy tries, tries to... to 
My, my name, name is Little Buggy. Buggy. <laughs> the heart song moment, Little Buggy comes face to face with mine, but fear not. Luckily, their name is Little Buggy, not Eric <laughs> Red. <laughs> We're lame, they quickly dash away, banging the deadly blast, and they're escaping. He's so awesome. I, won. <laughs> I go to so court, go to court and change, my <laughs> change my name to the letter Sweet. K, so I can be okay. <laughs> Little Buggy dies too. <laughs> There's also an illegal name change, transforming it into K. However, the title of the mine remained unaltered, <laughs> bearing the lethal connection name Eric Bird. Fortunately, the mine took no notice of the transformation. <laughs> the name change proved to be tragically fatal. Uh, oh, a tragic fallacy. My bad. Um. <laughs> I beat you! <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 guys, do you think that's fair? I don't think that's fair. Guys, we're gonna need I a rematch. We're gonna need a rematch. I'm out of here. If y'all think that that's not fair, comment down below that we need a rematch because I am simply not gonna accept this defeat. Very clearly changed my name, and according to law, I could not have died from that landmine, so. No! no.